Alright guys, welcome to a boot sale stroke flea market finds video. Um, so a little bit different to the kind of unboxing stuff that I do. And I must admit, within the previous unboxing videos, I have had some boot sale finds. Um, but you know, I've, I haven't got anything else to unbox today, so this is just solely a unboxing, rather a boot sale finds video. Now I've got a nice big bag of stuff here. Um, I've spent about £25, so about $30 this morning. Um, it's Bank Holiday Monday in the UK today, and I've been to the boot sale. So let's see what I've got. Start off with this little thing. Terry's high grade cotter pins. Now I recently restored a car mentioned cotter pins and within the comments I was kind of blasted and told that they're not cotter pins, they're split pins. Um, well this is what I use so I guess they either are called split pins in some places, cotter pins in another, but of course whenever I've got a broken uh, piece on a car, you know, you get you get one of these, it's, got, it's obviously curved on one side, flat the other, and this kind of thing will be perfect to repair A pillars, etc. And I paid £1.50 for that little box. I actually just like it, just for the tin itself. It's got some you know, it's got a bit of age to that, so yeah, very cool. Cotter pins tin uh, from the same seller um, was also probably the two uh, most expensive things that I paid for today. Each of them was one pound fifty. So this is a Corgi toys made in Great Britain uh, Land Rover, 109 inch wheelbase in really good condition. So for one pound fifty, I certainly didn't. Uh, complain. I did try to barter. I, I, I said you know, we take two pound fifty for the both, but the guy was uh, adamant he wanted three pound. So you know I paid up. Um, yeah, really good condition. It's even still got the, I think a sticker there. Whether that's original on the glass. It's got a sticker on the back. Whether perhaps is that rear registration number. Maybe not. Uh, I need to do a bit of research, but. I'm going to set up or start a Corgi channel, so perhaps this will be getting restored on there. Uh, another Corgi, Volvo. Um, there was this, I'm not too sure whether I can piece them together. There was a guy who had various cars and. Hmm, there's this one, this one, uh, maybe, maybe that's it. Um, there was one other car, um, I think it might have even been this, that I just like the engine from it. Um, it's just a modern Hot Wheels, but I thought that might go well in something. And I said to him, you know, how much are your cars? I think there was one or two more within this pack, and uh, the guy said, you know, one, oh, there was this one as well. Um, and I think he said uh, £1.50 for the lot. So I said, yeah, that's fine. Um, to be fair, for me, I'll probably keep one of these Volvos. I'll keep, um, you know, the engine from, from this car. Uh, the rest of it, you know, kind of go in my uh, child's play box, um, you know, I buy myself a lot of cars, so of course I've still got to come back with something for the kids too. So, just put all those to one side. Right, now, what did I pick up from this next guy? I know it was this one. I think maybe this one. Uh, to be honest, I can't remember now, but 
Um, I paid about, I think this one, uh, certainly it cost me a pound. It's a 1987 Matchbox. I believe this is the series of my first Matchbox. Now I've got a, now this is a Rover, Rover Sterling. I think it's, I think it's called an 800, Rover 800. Uh, in you know in the real life and I've got one in like a, a really nice red color um, and it's too clean for me to kind of modify uh, but this one on the other hand perhaps I can do something with it because you know I don't I'm not a fan of this kind of paint job or blue wheels so swap out the wheels add some details make it look real so yeah looking forward to that one this one I was really happy with um, which is a BMW 5 Series from 1989. I've got another one of these and I was really gutted about it because I wanted to do a restoration on one, uh, but the interior and the glass on the one I have is shot. So now I've got a really nice one. Of course it's been covered in, you know, um, like a pink highlighter, whatever. But of course that doesn't bother me because I'm gonna be stripping that down. Um, this was a nice little car. It's a Majorette, Majorette four gun. Um, I just liked. I'm not seeing this one before, but you know, you've still got the kind of open and closed door there, which I really liked. Got the tow hook there. All the glass appears to be in good, usable condition, and I think that will restore quite nicely on my little kind of Majorette um, channel. I think this one was picked up for about 50 pence uh, for my son, just a modern Hot Wheels. This one I really like, Corgi Rover 350 or 3500. Um, I'm not too sure whether there should have been the glass on there, but you know, very cool. Now I've already picked up a couple of these golfs, actually the same seller had this one. so. I picked it up for the sake of 50 pence. You know, might need it for parts for the other ones. This is a nice, what is it? Oh, Unimog. So this is the first Unimog I've got actually. Um, shame that it's broken the uh, windshield there. Not sure whether it should have had an interior, but that is very cool. And that will restore with a, a new windscreen. Kind of like a heavy truck. Red Rider. So this is a Red Rider 1972. Doesn't feel as as good a quality as um see I've got here the Pie Eyed Piper. Now are they it's almost like this this is a later car, you know? Um because it's is that plastic? base compared to a metal base I think that is still metal 1972 see this one says super fast 1972 Lesney whereas this one says made in China it says 1972 on it but I'm not convinced I think that's a much later car um, to be honest I've got a few and actually let's see on the engine there, it does say Piper so basically what it is, I've got a few of these pie-eyed pipers and half of them are missing the engines. So I actually only picked up this because I thought it was a much later casting, uh, but the engine in there, now a couple of these little trumpets or flutes, whatever they're called, are bent, but um, at least the engine's there for me to use in one of the pie-eyed pipers. This is a nice little race car, 1973. Number 24, Team Matchbox, really good condition. Don't really think this needs anything other than a buff up. May need a repaint at a later stage, but yeah, this one cost me a pound. Corgi Porsche Carrera. The Matchbox Porsche is certainly much better, but you know, I wanted this for my Corgi series. Um, my, you know, I've got a few Corgi cars now, so that will go in that box. Maserati Bora, quite good condition. 
You know, the glass is good, sticker intact, but I think this will be getting a repaint uh, soon. Not in this kind of, it'll be a custom, you know, I'm not going to repaint it in this colour. Um, we'll see what colour we do, but um, yeah, quite cool. I think that cost me 50 pence. Mercedes 350 SL 1973. Very nice Mercedes. Unfortunately, missing the windscreen. I wonder if a model supplies supplies one for that. I'm not sure, so I might have to seek it out elsewhere. Corgi Juniors Grand Prix Racer. I thought this was quite cool, just for my Corgi collection. I feel like that perhaps something is missing on the back here. Don't know. Is there anything missing there? Uh, more of a modern matchbox here from, I say modern, 1980, so it's almost 40 years old. Um, it's got the kind of foam thing on the on the top there. I've got another one of these in good condition, so maybe this will get restored one day. Oh, this was a nice one. Um, Hot Wheels, 1982, in super condition almost new and it's what nearly 40 years old beautiful i won't be restoring that one i'll just put that in my hot wheels kind of collection very nice uh, i've not seen this one before the number 15 snorkel fire engine made in england 1977 very good very good Right, so this is the last little bag of cars from today. Uh, this whole bag was from one seller. <clears throat> now he wanted um, a pound each for these. I got 12 for £10. Um, you know, not the greatest deal, but I found that, well, what I generally find is that if I, you know, I get some cars for 20 pence. There's some cars in here that I pay 20 pence, some that I paid 50 pence, some that I pay a pound. And, you know, I don't think, oh, this one cost me a pound. Um, I didn't get good value for money. I just kind of see it that overall, if I've got myself a ton of cars for 20 odd quid, um, then I'll just kind of, you know, uh, pro rata it, right? So, um, so it kind of averages out. Now, this seller had. To be fair, quite a few cars that I already have, so I didn't pick up. You know, I left it for somebody else. Um, had some great kind of antique signs and uh, tools and all sorts. You know, he's a bit of a um, almost like a dealer for kind of antique stuffs or retro stuffs. And he had you know a couple of boxes of cars, uh, like I say, a pound each. But um, yeah, I picked up. I picked up a few. I could have bought more, but. You know, I can't buy them all. So, this one's quite nice. 1969 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow Coupe. Um, of course, it's missing the windshield here. I've actually, you know, I've actually got another one. Oh. See, it's, I didn't notice before, but it's also missing the cover here, which is a bit of a shame. And actually, let me just reach from the other one. I have <clears throat> so this one's already in my collection, and it's a shame because the windscreen is broken on that one. Um, see, really, the difference in the qualities there. So this one, I'm not sure whether I'm going to get this cover. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that one now because. Uh, yeah, the one I currently have is certainly in nicer condition, minus that uh, broken windshield. Um, ah, right, okay. It's also missing the steering wheel. So this is either going to be a parts car or maybe Mad Max. Who knows? We shall see. 
um, a Corgi BMW. I know this is a Matchbox Garage, but I picked that up. It's got some nice weight to it. So that will go in my Corgi box and I don't know, maybe one day that will be on a Corgi channel of mine coming up. Uh, Pontiac Firebird Racer. I've got, I don't think I've got one of these, so I picked it up. Quite like it. You know, if I restore it, you know, I won't be painting this blue. I won't be adding these graphics. It'll be something else, but um, quite liked it. Nice and wide. Thought it looked quite fun. Same with this one, uh, Pontiac Fiero, 1985. So again, you know, being born in 1983 myself, um, this is the kind of cars that I would have had as a little boy. So, um, you know, I, I enjoy these kind of cars. Ferrari Testarossa. I don't think I've got one of these. Uh, there was two there. I only picked up one, the nicer of the two. But um, I've got a few Ferraris. Like I say, not sure if I've got this one. I'd like to restore, maybe do like a bit of a, a mini series of Ferraris. Um, minus these kind of Ferrari decals. I must admit, you know, if you if I was driving down the street with this Ferrari, I'm not gonna have a great big Ferrari sticker on the front. I just want I just want it red. But um, yeah, so maybe that'll get restored. So a Matchbox Series number 55, Mercury Police Car, 1971, so it's a super fast. I've got quite a few of these, and he, he well, this this same guy had quite a few of this this style um, in the Lesney plus the super fast. You know, the green one that they do, but I've already got six or seven of them, so I didn't need any more, so I let, I let others kind of we'll, we'll pick those up, but... Um, yeah, this one's quite cool. It looks like it's got a lot of detail in the back here. So, yeah, maybe that'll get a restoration one day. Got another um, Isogrifo. And the second video I ever did um, was to custom restore one of these. Painted it from I think it was this color into a yellow and I put some different wheels on it and uh, I've since got um, I think I've got a really nice uh, earlier one with the earlier wheels uh, in a dark blue with the light blue interior which I think is like the first run this is a later car so maybe this will get another custom um, yeah cool little car I think it's to, to me it's 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 kind of sleek and it's sexy shape but it's also muscular and masculine um, so to, to be able to kind of pull that off in a design you know it's pretty special uh, another Mercedes 1986 Mercedes-Benz 300e I had one in um, some German, East German, or maybe West German police livery, and I'd done like a, a, a VIP black on black with great big wheels. To be honest, I don't really like it. Um, so I want to kind of attempt it again and maybe go down a different direction next time. This one's got blue interior, so yeah, maybe a uh, a blue on the outside will be quite nice to restore that one. This is a later Matchbox Ford Sierra XR4i. Someone's already attempted, I think, to paint in some chrome here. Really cool. You know, these are worth a lot of money now in real life. Obviously, the Cosworths are, are worth 10 times more, but these um, XR4Is are, uh, are certainly worth their money too. And uh, I think they come with a, was it a 2.8 engine? People do like twin turbos, like Technics turbos, and 
and all sorts or you can replace them with like the Cosworth engines they do a V6 Cosworth engine too people put those in but um, yeah maybe a nice little kind of custom on this one will be uh, in order Porsche Turbo I had a brown one of these which I uh, custom restored a while ago in like a um, dark grey I masked off all the bumpers and the the wing on the back in black look come out really, really nice I think um, one of my earlier videos and um, he had probably three or four of these these Porsches I just picked this one up for no other reason than you know the glass was okay uh, condition was okay and uh, Maybe I'll do a, another restoration uh, on on this, but with blue interior, you know, I'll have to probably try and find maybe a contrasting colour to restore that one. Audi Quattro, nineteen eighty two, very cool car. Obviously, this one being perhaps a, a road going version of the Rally Champion, and I've got a few in the Rally livery. But didn't have one in the kind of you know the day to day, but um, yeah, in quite good condition. I wonder you know, whether some of this junk will wash off. But yeah, you know, considering the age of it, very nice little car. Um, just two little bits left now. Full Transit, 1986. You know, just sweet and simple. This is obviously in a, an ambulance kind of livery, but um, you know, you go down my street and there's probably half a dozen transits. You drive down the road, you'll see another half a dozen transits. You know, it's a popular van here in the UK. Um, but yeah, maybe do a just a clean up and a, kind of put it back to put it back to work for this one. Last but not least, picked up something a bit different. What does it read? Uh, made in England, number 13 by Lesney American Loco. Is that 440 models of yesteryear? So, I don't know anything about trains or locomotives. So I don't know whether everything is here. My guess is that there's something missing. Now that I see that hole, perhaps a, a little person stood in there. Someone's obviously had a go at trying to restore this themselves, covered it in maybe a spray painted some chrome paint over it. This part looks like it should have been green. This part looks like it should have been red, but um, you know, all the wheels still turn. So it'd be a shame to see this go to waste, you know. I could probably get that looking brand new in a few hours. So if that's something you fancy uh, seeing as well, let me know. But anyway, that's just um, just a little short video of my kind of uh, like I say boot sale stroke flea market finds today. You'll see a few of these coming up in the future. If there's anything that um, you know you want to see first let me know and I can uh, crack on with it but uh, thanks guys for watching